Hello guys, welcome along, hope you're all doing well. We're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator for another video and today I'm going to be covering a topic that I've been asked about quite a few times on some of my other videos and that is custom camera views and how we go about configuring them and saving them. So, I've loaded into the sim in the new Phoenix A319 as I've not saved any custom cameras for this plane yet so I will walk you through everything you need to know and this guide will work for both Xbox and PC without having to mess around with any camera config files or anything like that I just want to keep it as simple as possible one thing I would say is though it'll be much easier with a keyboard plugged in uh, you can do it on a controller um, but you're a lot more limited to the amount of cameras you can have so yeah I would recommend using a keyboard so with that in mind let's hop inside and get started so first of all then we are going to go into our control options and we are going to click on keyboard at the top left and then we are going to search for camera and that is going to bring up all the default keybinds for both saving and loading our custom views and as you can see we've got 10 slots available and the keybinds to save are control alt and then a number from 0 to 9 and then we've got the same for loading the custom view that we've just saved so for example if we've saved it to camera 1 we press alt and 1 and that will switch to that view, so fairly straightforward. And moving on to controller then, you can do the same sort of thing as I mentioned in my intro, but you are a little bit more limited to the amount of cameras you can save um, without it clashing with your control. So uh, by default, look, you've got three there, you have a left and right bumper with Y, B and A. Then you'd also need to bind uh, three buttons to, to load those views, so I'd probably do left and right bumper and up, down, left or something like that on the D-pad. And that is pretty much it for all our keybinds. I'm going to leave everything on default and we're going to go back into the flight deck and show you guys how we go about doing it. And there is a little trick that we're going to need to do to make this work for us without editing those config files that we talked about earlier. Um, and basically we need to be able to glitch outside of the cockpit. As you can see we're kind of limited to uh, either side window. So we are going to open our cockpit camera menu there we go and we're going to go down to where it says pilot and we're going to drop that down and we're going to click on co-pilot and that is going to shift us over to the first officer's side and then we're going to move the camera all the way back to the pilot side and click pilot and there we go it has glitched us outside the plane so that's the first phase complete and at this point we want to save that as a custom view so I'll press control alt and one because um, at the moment we can't pan around the camera so we'll save that and then we'll reset the view and then I need to press Alt 1 to load it up again and there we go that's hopped us back to where we were now we can start positioning the camera wherever we want outside the plane and start saving off our custom views so to start with then let's do a nice engine and wing shot and I'll save over that last uh, camera we did so we'll do Control Alt and 1 and then let's move a little further across the wing and we'll do another wing shot a little bit sort of square on to the fuselage I think so we'll just move that around and perhaps just zoom out a little bit as well there we go and we'll do control alt 2 for that one and obviously these camera positions are just my own personal preference you guys can be as creative as you want uh, you might do some nose wheel or landing gear shots all that kind of thing you can basically like I said position the camera wherever you want um, this one I'm going to do now is one of my personal favorites and it's really good for showing sort of wing flex and that kind of thing so uh, I'm going to pan around to right on the tip of the wing it just takes a few minutes um, it's not the quickest here we go so I'll just keep panning around till I'm sort of happy with the position somewhere around about there maybe just a little bit closer in there we go and I'll hit control alt 3 for that camera angle and then if we hit F to reset the camera that is pretty much all there is to it so we can cycle through those camera angles now so if I press alt and 1 that's our first view alt 2 goes to the wing and then alt 3 is that wing flex view and then it's pretty much a case of just repeating the process for the other side of the plane so if we hop back inside here we go and we can do the exact same process for the first officer's side so if we scroll all the way across to the first officer's window and we open our camera menu again and drop down the pilot menu and click on co-pilot hey presto we are back outside again and at this point again we want to save that initial view so we'll do control alt and 4 and then we'll hop back inside and then press alt 4 so that's loaded up and now we can pan around the plane again 
and I'll sort of mirror what we did on the other side so um, we'll do another engine and wing for this side just drop that down a bit and control alt 4 again and we'll just close that menu and reset our view again so back inside and then if we press alt 4 it jumps to that wing shot alt 1 would take us to the opposite side and as you can see it's quite quick and easy to sort of build up a decent library of camera views so let's just do one more before I leave it for today uh, we'll do one from inside the cabin so let's go for a little wander and uh, we'll perhaps do a wing shot looking through the window everyone likes a window seat right so if we come along to around about halfway along let's let's go for the extra leg room seats we've paid the big bucks let's uh, let's sit here and there we go just uh, perhaps zoom in a touch there we go and we'll press Control alt 5 and again we can reset our camera angle by pressing F which will take us back to the flight deck and then we can do uh, alt 4 which is our wing shot and then alt 5 takes us to our extra legroom seat so there we have it guys that concludes today's video on how we create and save custom camera views in Microsoft Flight Simulator and be sure to leave your suggestions for different camera views in the comments below I'll definitely give them a go and if you did find the video useful perhaps you learned something new give it a like subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks very much for watching bye bye